and I clearly have f***ed up. Welcome to the Dumb Dumb News Channel. Like, share, subscribe and leave a comment please. Joe Rogan is surrounded in controversy right now, and I want to discuss this. I first learned about Joe Rogan when I saw him on TV as the host of the show Fear Factor, I later learned that he was a comedian and a sports broadcaster for the Ultimate Fighting Championships. Later, he created a podcast, The Joe Rogan Experience where he invites all sorts of guests to come and discuss all sorts of topics. Joe Rogan amassed such a big audience that Spotify Music app paid him $100 million to post his podcast exclusively on their platform. It turns out that some of his guests' opinions, and his opinions have started to hit mainstream media. Here is my take on exactly what is happening. First, Joe Rogan caught Woofle, and he used alternative medicine to heal himself. Fake news CNN decided to run with the story by first making fun of him, and later putting a filter over a video he made. The filter over the video made Joe Rogan look very ill. I can't play the video because it was banned on YouTube, but you can still find it on rumble.com and bitchut.com. Next, Joe brings CNN's doctor, Dr. Sanjay Gupta to his show and confronts him about CNN lying about him. Two, no, 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 two no, no, things no. on you the have ledger. To, you have, before we get to that, does it bother you that the news network you work for out and out lied, well, just outright lied about me taking horse dewormer? They, they, they shouldn't have said that. Why did they do that? I don't know. After that, Joe Rogan brings on two distinguished doctors, Dr. Peter McCullough and Dr. Robert Malone to his show, and they both have different opinions about the Wufflu and the government. Both videos are banned on YouTube, but can still be found on Rumble.com. After this, rock and roll artist Neil Young gives Spotify an ultimatum to remove Joe Rogan or Neil Young would take down his music from Spotify. Neil Young was claiming that Joe Rogan was spreading misinformation. Remember, we are talking about opinions here. After this, many other artists started to remove their work from Spotify. Lastly, someone made a video that has many clips of Joe Rogan using the N-word over the years on his podcast. Other people have had a few words to say, but the main theme here is shutting him down. The CEO of Spotify apologized to his staff, removed over 70 episodes, but said he would not remove Joe Rogan from the platform. And this brings us to his video apology of today. I'm making this video to talk about the most regretful and shameful thing that I've ever had to talk about publicly. There's a video that's out that's a compilation of me saying the N-word. It's a video that's made of clips taken out of context of me of 12 years of conversations on my podcast, and it's all smushed together, and it looks fucking horrible, even to me. Now, I know that to most people, there's no context where a white person is ever allowed to say that word, never mind publicly on a podcast. And I agree with that now. I haven't said it in years, but for a long time, when I would bring that word up, like if it would come up in conversation and stay, instead of saying the N word, I would just say the word. I thought as long as it was in context, people would understand what I was doing. I was also talking about how there's not another word like it in the entire English language because it's a word where only one group of people is allowed to use it and they can use it in so many different ways. Like if a white person says that word, it's racist and toxic, but a black person can use it and it could be a punchline, it could be a term of endearment, it could be lyrics to a rap song, it could be a positive affirmation. It's a very unusual word but it's not my word to use. I'm well aware of that now, but for years I used it in that manner. I never used it to be racist because I'm not racist, but whenever you're in a situation where you have to say, I'm not racist, you f***ed up. And I clearly have f***ed up. My sincere and humble apologies. I wish there was more that I could say but all of this is just me talking from the bottom of my heart. It makes me sick watching that video, but hopefully at least some of you will accept this and understand where I'm coming from. In my opinion, there was a time when people of all colors used the word and the use and meaning was all based on context. Now, it doesn't matter how you plan to use it. If you aren't a certain color of skin, you should not use it at all. Most sane people believe it is a double standard that only certain people can say it, but not everyone. There is now a thin line between opinions, misinformation, and free speech. 
This line seems to get blurred more and more by the day in mainstream media and big tech control where that line moves to next. I encourage you to follow me on rumble.com, bitchut.com and Patreon where there is more freedom to express your opinions. Those are my thoughts, what are yours? Leave them in the comments below, please share this video for education and awareness, for the Dumb Dumb News Channel, I'm Dumb Dumb.